மை டியர் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் வெல்கம் டு ராஜசேகர் கிளாஸஸ் ஆன் எத்திக்கல் ஹேக்கிங் திஸ் இஸ் லெக்சர் நம்பர் ஃபிஃப்டீன் இன் திஸ் லெக்சர் வி வில் ட்ரை டு அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் ஷுடான் பிஃபோர் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்டிங் ஷுடான் லெட் மி ரீகால் அவர் நெட் கிராஃப்ட் டூல் நெட் கிராஃப்ட் டூல் இஸ் யூஸ் டு டிட்டர்மைன் த ஆப்பரேட்டிங் சிஸ்டம் ஆஃப் தி டார்கெட் ஷுடான் இஸ் எ சர்ச் இன்ஜன் லைக் கூகுள் பட் இன்ஸ்டெட் ஆஃப் சர்ச்சிங் ஃபார் வெப்சைட் it searches for interconnected devices this point is very important google searches for what will it search it searches for websites it searches for websites what about shodan it searches for interconnected interconnected devices what is the meaning of interconnected device what does it mean that may be a router that may be a router even that may be an uh, I, i can say uh, servers all the uh, all these are interconnected devices uh, even i can say iot devices iot devices means what internet of things devices such as thermostats and baby monitors to uh, i can say uh to complex systems that go on a wide range of industries including energy power and transportation in simple manner one can say shodan can find anything that connects directly to the internet this point is very important if your internet facing devices are not protected shodan can tell hackers everything they need to know break into your network you have used google before right of course at its core google is just a search engine that shows your domain with port number 80 which ports generally this google is a search engine which shows with port 80 port 80 of course there is another port 443 what is this ports http http port isn't it shodan is a just search engine that shows your domain with all ports yes this point is very 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 important just see otherwise let me highlight this point what is the um, what it says it shows it means what it means what shodan shodan shows you domain with all ports what about this uh, google 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 will show the domain with port number 80 and port number 443 isn't it shodan will scan will scan the internet every ip and detects if the port is open and the and the connected to it collecting the response you can view these results by using the results produced produced by shodan can be viewed by using gui graphical user interface or cli command line interface anyway we will try to understand how one can view the results produced by shodan in my next lecture we can use filters to find services and ports belonging to your target isn't it you can always find services and ports shodan shows you services services and ports belonging to whom belongs to your target mission i can say what is this census census is just similar to shodan in simple manner i can say it's shodan's census is shodan alternative alternative in future classes i will discuss in detail in in detail manner about this particular census for long time shodan was the only iot search engine in the year 2013 a free rival called census emerged it is also a search engine that one must understand census is also a search engine for the iot relying on the same basic principles but as its creator says more precise when it comes to searching for vulnerabilities shodan is the first i can say what is this shodan shodan is the first even 
probably the foremost search engine first search engine first search engine for the iot for the internet of things for the internet of for the internet of things isn't it i can say in certain sense i i, I how, how can i compare let me say like this in certain sense shodan is like a guy who walks through the city and knocks on every door he sees but instead of doors shodan knocks on every ipv4 address and instead of some city there is the whole world if you ask that guy about a particular type of doors or about doors in particular part of the city he certainly would know something and would provide you the information how many those doors are there who answers them and what do the and what do they say shodan gives you the same information about those iot items how are they called what type are they and and is there a web interface one can use in the world of internet of things these doors are represented by unprotected routers ip cameras and other things that use default logins and passwords once you have managed to enter their web interface and figure out their login and password you can gain full access to them and it's not a rocket science since the information about default logins and passwords for different connected devices can usually be found on the websites of the manufacturers if it's an ip camera you can see everything it sees and even even that that's important even control it if it's supporting something like that if it's a router you can change its settings shodan searches i can say let me say like this shodan search engine lets you find the connected devices means routers servers iot devices using variety of filters shodan is very very yes i can i can say like this what it is it is very very shodan is is a very very powerful search engine very very powerful search engine isn't it and its search engine exposes vulnerabilities isn't it it is extremely powerful it searches the network that is created by devices connected to the internet it gathers information like operating system being used or the services running on a port in essence what it is performing it is performing banner grabbing this is one of the important concept banner grabbing what is this banner grabbing anyway let me repeat in essence what it is performing it is performing banner grabbing it's perform it's performing service banner grabbing it will grab all the information shodan will grab it will grab all the information it will grab all the information about devices about devices devices that is connected to the internet that is connected to the internet isn't it yes yes let me say it's uh, uh, let me say like this first we will try to understand what is banner what is the meaning of banner grabbing first let me explain what is banner when a port is set to open it's available for access when a port is set to open it's available for access this is what allows your printer to establish your printer can establish your printer can establish a connection with your computer isn't it for example the computer knocks what does it mean computer knocks computer knocks the open port 
knocks the open port open port and the printer sends a packet of information yes printer this this point is very very important printer printer sends sends a packet of information a packet of information a packet of information what is this packet of information let me repeat printer sends a packet of information called called a banner called a banner that contains the information your computers needs to interact with the printer yes just let me say like this what is this banner that contains the information your computer needs to interact with the printer i i can say in simple manner i can say banners are intended for network administration they are intended for network administration anyway in future classes i will i will spend lot of time on banners also i can say banners can provide all sort of identifying information banners can provide banners can provide all sorts of all sorts of identifying identifying information identifying information isn't it uh, but here are some uh, let me see let me say what are the common fields these are the common fields common fields of what common fields of banner common fields of banner what are those common fields first one is device name every device has got its own name on internet for example let me say samsung samsung galaxy samsung galaxy s21 this is an example of device name every device has got its own name isn't it even it has got its ip address what is ip address it is uh, i can say unique code assigned to each device which allows the devices to be identified by the servers port number what about port number which which protocol your device uses you can understand the protocol which protocol your device uses isn't it which protocol your device uses to connect to the web what about organization the business owns your ip space for example internet service provider a provider or the business you work for location what is the meaning of location your location may be country isn't it city isn't it that's location geographical uh, identifications geographical identification some devices even include their default login uh, login and passwords default login and password not only this this one it can also provide default login password sometimes what is a make make of the device what is a model of the device isn't it make model and software version software version version of the software isn't it Which, all, all these are fields of the banner what are the fields of the banner device name ip address port number organization location default login and passwords make of the device model of the device software version isn't it which can all be exploited by the hackers once hackers got this particular they are, if they are able to collect this information related to banner they can exploit this particular information isn't it it performs full service banner grabbing from servers or any other devices connected to the internet and it will scan for different ports now one of the most popular port that it will scan for port number 80 your shodan will scan for port number 80 i already discussed port number 80 and 443 um, is related to google search engine isn't it even shodan let me say 
one of the most popular port that it will scan for scan for is port 80 other ports that it can scan for are the SSH port I will discuss about what is SSH, SSH. time being just understand its port number is 22 SSH is port 22 there is something like FTP what is its FTP port number FTP port number is 21 isn't it SSH means I can say secure shell uh, um, uh, communication isn't it uh, we will try to understand about what is secure shell in future classes uh, time being let me say it is used for banner grabbing and it searches which one is used for banner grabbing Shodan Shodan is used for banner grabbing and it searches every device connected to the internet and it scans for the ports services and operating systems that is running on each of these devices it can be used to access web servers network devices and web cameras and routers please do not use this is very important let me say please do not use this for any illegal purposes and i am not going to be held responsible that is my disclaimer just if you observe look around we are living in the internet of things in our day-to-day -day life we encounter things connected to the internet starting with our home wi-fi routers and leading up to traffic light management systems and street security cameras since they are connected all of them can be found in two worlds both in the real world and in the web shodan is a search engine for finding specific devices and device types that exist online it works by scanning the entire internet and parsing the banners that are written by various devices using that information shodan can tell you things like what web server and what is its version is most popular how many anonymous ftp servers exist in a particular location and what is its make and what is model of the device just go through this lecture in my next lecture i will continue my discussion my discussion on shodan thank you very much